Vocal cord dysfunction is a very underrecognized problem. So a lot of times patients will tell me they'll get a tightness or swelling in their throat that will occur suddenly, making it really difficult to breathe. And a lot of times this happens actually from what's called paradoxical movement of the vocal cords. Here's a picture of what the vocal cords look like. So at the top, we have normal vocal cords that are actually open when we take in a deep breath. With VCD, the vocal cords are actually doing the opposite of what they're supposed to be doing and are actually closed like the bottom picture. Typical triggers of this condition are exercise, stress, and what I hear most commonly is actually really strong odors such as cleaning detergents or perfumes. So the good news is, is we can actually teach the vocal cords to relax. So actually managing other underlying conditions such as acid reflux, asthma, and even allergy symptoms can actually help decrease the frequency of those throat episodes. Even with managing those conditions, you still can get some breakthrough vocal cord dysfunction episodes. So let's go through two abortive exercises that can help relax those vocal cords when you really need it. So the first exercise is what's called pursed lip breathing. So that's where you make a small tiny hole as if you were exhaling through a straw and exhale very slowly. So let's take a look at what this looks like. And I even have some patients that carry a straw just to make it easier. So the second exercise, you'll actually take the tip of your tongue and you'll start at your teeth and trace it to the back of your mouth. So here's an example. You'll take your tongue and start at the top of the teeth and just run it along the back part of the mouth. And that just helps relax those vocal cords. So this is just a couple of exercises. There are a ton more. And we actually work in conjunction with speech therapists who are really great at teaching one prevention as well as some of those abortive exercises.